One of the other things you were talking about is looking after the environment. So that will always be a problem. One is giving good compensation to the farmers. Sometimes to build those roads, you'll have to cut trees. In the Dehradun, Delhi one, you're going over the forest, you're giving wildlife corridors. So you have to balance the environment with the need to build those expressways and roads. We need to balance development with the environment. We have to protect the ecology and environment. Well, just I am giving you the example for this we have presently we have 3 crores 76 lakh of plantation out of which 3 lakh 3 crore 56 lakhs already it is ETAC and now we have taken a decision that we should have a tree of 3 meter size we have successfully transplanted the tree more than 1 lakh now so we don't want to cut the tree, we want to protect You're transplanting the tree. Yes, yes. And at the same time, the most important thing is, regarding the road construction, now we are planning to use bio-bitumen. We have a big project in Panipat from Indian oil. The project is making bio-bitumen, 150 tonne of bitumen per day and 1 lakh liter of bioethanol per day. And they are using Parali. And because of burning of problem, Parali is a big problem in Delhi. That is one of the important reasons for the pollution. So instead of using stubble, burning ah, the yes. stubble, it can be used yes, for bitumen. Yes, yes. Now I am going to launch. Presently in India, we have requirement of bitumen 80 lakh ton. Out of its Indian refineries, capacity is of 50 lakh ton. And 30 lakh ton we need to expo import. Now idea is there is a tractor molded unit of costing 20 lakhs rupees. And it is to be uh, proven technology from Central Research Road Organization and CSIR. They are present with the technology. Now we are formulating the policy by which farmers can make bitumen and we will purchase from them and they will get now presently the farmers are Annadatta. After that we started the green ethanol and other thing. We name it as Urjadatta and now we will make farmer as a bitumen data. <laughs> diversification data. of agriculture towards energy and power sector is the mission for me. I am working from 2004 on this subject. We have to protect the ecology and environment. At the same time, we need to increase the growth rate of agriculture and rural India. But the biggest challenge that will probably be facing, uh, once these roads are built and everything is, is, is great, but I'm sure you feel that one of the most biggest inflection points that is now coming is with electric vehicles. The entire era of petrol burning or fossil fuel building cars will go and you'll have electric cars coming. What can you do to make that change faster? How does India become one of the leaders in electric vehicles, not a follower? Actually, as far as the actual manufacturer is concerned, the size of the industry is 7 lakh, uh, 7, uh, 7.50 lakhs crores. Now I'm telling you, we out of which 50% we have export. And this is the industry which is giving maximum GST to the state and central government. This is the industry up till now create 4 crore 50 lakh jobs. Now my mission as a transport minister to make this industry of 15 lakh crore. Now our number was number 4. Japan was number 3rd. The China was number 1. USA was number 2. Japan was number 3rd. And India was number 4. But just last month, we surpass Japan. Now our number is number 3rd. We make more cars than Japan. That's yes, and I will tell you, you take it from me, that within five years, we want to make Indian atoll industry number one in the world. We have all reputed brands present in Indian market. And now because of electric vehicle, the make in India, made in India, and because of Atmanirbhar Bharat, we have got the skilled, trained engineering manpower available in India. Raw materials are available in India. Now just we have got this lithium ion stocks in Jammu and Kashmir. Every year we have an import of 1200 tonne of lithium ion. Now I am sure that we are now developing the chemistry by aluminum ion, zinc ion, steel ion, by which we will create alternatives. Our startups are doing excellent jobs. And not only in electric, we are working on ethanol, methanol, biodiesel, bio CNG, bio LNG, electric and hydrogen. Uh, I have got car. I can. This is the first car in India which I have got. You can take the run of that car. It is on hydrogen. I want to take a hydrogen fuel. Yes, car. yes. I have got it. I am taking take that. Your... Yes, I will. I will just take it. This give you the car. You just take the drive of it. <laughs> All right.